K and N air intakes are designed to increase airflow to your engine for improved engine performance, better engine sound, and unlike disposable air filters, they're designed to last for the lifetime of your vehicle and come with a 10 year million mile warranty. Obviously, it's a really high quality product and they're also made here in the United States. A K and N air intake for a 2010 and newer Toyota FJ Cruiser or 4Runner takes about 90 minutes to install. I'll put a link to this product in the description below. Now in today's video, we're gonna clean out the filter. Uh, to clean the K&N air filter, you need a K&N recharger kit, which comes with the air filter cleaner, as well as a reconditioning oil, which is available in either an aerosol or gel form. For today's video, we're gonna do the aerosol. Link to this kit is also in the description below. Now the first step of the process is that we've gotta remove the air filter. Now to get access to our filter, we've got to remove this cover plate. So we're going to go ahead and use an Allen wrench here to remove the screws along the top and pull off this cover. Then we'll go ahead and lift up this top plate and we can see our filter. Then to remove our filter, you'll see that we've got a screw right here and a hose clamp. I'm just going to twist this to loosen it and then we'll be able to pull the filter right off. So first off, you can see our filter is really dirty. I bought the vehicle used, so I don't know how long this has been in here. But it doesn't look like it's been cleaned anytime recently. Good thing is that when you look on the inside, it looks super clean inside. Good indication that it's been doing its job. Now the first step of the process is we're going to take the air filter cleaner, which we've got in this container right here. We're gonna spray it liberally on the outside and inside, and then we're gonna let it soak for 10 minutes. The key with this step is that we don't want it to dry, and so we've gotta spray it on thick enough that it won't dry over the course of the next 10 minutes. So we'll go ahead and start by spraying the outside. Again, put it on real thick. Right, you see it's starting to look quite a bit cleaner. We haven't even rinsed it off. Once we've sprayed the outside, next we're going to spray the inside. Then we're going to let this soak for about 10 minutes. So I've let the filter sit for a good 10 to 15 minutes now, and I sprayed it again in the interim just to make sure that it stayed moist. Now we are going to rinse it with clean water. And to do that, we're gonna use a garden hose. And the really important thing here is we wanna make sure that we are taking the water from the inside going out. So we don't wanna force any particles or bugs or anything through the filter this direction. We want them coming out of the filter. So we're only gonna spray on the inside going out. Again, we don't want any high pressure here. And then once we've fully rinsed it out, then we're gonna let it sit until it is 100% dry. See all the cleaner coming out? Go ahead and just make sure we get it really thorough all around. All right, so the water coming out looks pretty clear now, so I think we're about done. And we'll take a good look at the filter, make sure it looks clean. So all the bugs are out. Not bad for being 100% touch free. Looks pretty clean to me. So now we're gonna go ahead and let this sit out until it is completely dry. So you can see now that our filter is dried and nice and clean. Next up, we're ready to spray on our reconditioning oil. So I left it out probably an hour or so to get it fully dried out. Again, we've got the aerosol spray here. So we're just gonna spray a thick coat um, around the whole perimeter of this thing. Uh, it's a red gel, and so you'll be able to see anywhere that's not red. We'll spray the whole thing, we'll leave it for a little while, and then we'll check to make sure that we didn't miss any areas. See, it's really helpful that it's a pink spray, so it's very obvious where we don't have coverage. So go around again, just make sure we didn't miss anywhere. All right, now we'll let that sit. We'll also go ahead and clean off just with a clean rag, the excess oil that's on the top and bottom. 
and then we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes to fully dry out before we reapply any additional oil. So I've let the oil wick for 20 or 30 minutes now. You can see it looks nice and dry. If you have any areas on here where it's not this reddish pink color, then go ahead and apply another coat and then let it sit again. Make sure we clean off all the oil on the edges. Now we're ready to reinstall. Put the clamp back on the end here. Slide the whole filter on. Make sure we got it nice and snug. We'll adjust the clamp here, take our flathead screwdriver, and tighten this up. Next, we'll go ahead and use our crescent wrench to make sure we've got it nice and snug, just because that flathead's a little bit harder to really tighten up. And lastly, we'll put this cover plate back on. So with that, our Canon air filter is clean. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below. If today's video was helpful, make sure to hit that like button. In the meantime, thanks for watching.